Let's look at how we can calculate support reactions from our model's analysis. So this would be done after the analysis by using the reactions tool within SRAM's graphical results window or the reactions tool spreadsheet within the numerical results window. And we can choose a low case or combination that we'd be interested in viewing. We can also choose which degrees of freedom we'd like to view from the new from the data bar in SRAM. And if we have a license of S Foundation, we can even send these force reactions to S Foundation for the purposes of foundation design. We're going to go back to our simple frame model here. And this one we actually already ran an analysis on in a previous exercise, but we're going to repeat that process. We're just going to click on Analyze and run our linear static analysis for both low cases and combinations. And as we can see here, it's ran through all three low cases and both low combinations without any diagnostic messages. And now we're brought to the graphical results window and we can see our low combinations and cases here. So I could select the low combination that I'm interested in. I'm going to use this 1.25 dead plus 1.5 live. And then using the reactions tool in the graphical results window, I can left click on this tool and I can see here it's giving me a summary of the base shears and moments for this particular low combination, tallying up the X, Y, and Z shear and X, Y, and Z moments. Now I can actually filter this down. Right now it's showing me all the reactions at these joints, but I can filter it down to the ones that are of interest. For example, I might be interested in the reaction force in the z-axis. And this is what it's showing me here. I notice I have a larger reaction force on this side. As you may remember, I have a partially varying line load on this beam for one of my low cases. That's why it's higher on this side. And this would basically be the vertical force that our foundations would have to resist. I can also look at the lateral forces. Uh, we don't have much in the way of lateral forces here uh, in this direction here. Uh, so overall, this gives us a picture for how the model's behaving. One thing that you may notice here, when we're looking at the moment Y, we actually get quite a large moment Y in this summary here. So this is actually, the reaction loads are being taken uh, with respect to the global coordinate system origin. So the rotation about the y-axis, a moment about the y-axis is tallying up all these forces and then using the lever arm at the distance where that force is applied or calculated to the actual global coordinate system origin. So that's why we have 162 meter, uh, kilonewtons times this uh, distance, which I believe is four meters. Now, if I go to the numerical results window, I have this option under the reaction spreadsheet where I can see the supported joints in my model, joints number one and three, the low combination that I'm looking at, and the reactions at each one of those joints. Now I could switch to my low cases, which I have multiple low cases, and I could tell S foundation or S frame rather. Let me look at all the low cases, and it's going to show me here for joint number one and joint number three, low cases one, two, and three, and the reactions under each. And if I would like to extend this even further, I can say, send all these reactions and my model into S Foundation by going to Run and then S Foundation. And we actually have other YouTube videos that will show you how to do this process.